Topical steroid withdrawal is a skin condition. I can look red raw, my skin can ooze, flake. My Tinder date blocked me after seeing my Instagram. I realised if I want a date, they have to be the right person and it has to kind of work. My relationship with Alexander has massively improved my life. I just wanted to Aww. support you. You are really great. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know you're really great. I love you. My skin is currently pretty unpredictable. A lot of the time I can look red raw, my skin can ooze, flake, get very hot, I get nerve pain, which makes me scratch. Yeah, the list is quite long. Last time since I saw you, we spoke about it as I had severe eczema. My body would just ooze and leak. It was like burning, itching, swelling, flaking, consistent flaking. I've now gone back to a doctor and I have the official diagnosis of topical steroid withdrawal, which is a skin condition caused by long-term use of steroids or other similar medications. I had always, always, always used steroids for as long as I can remember. At about the age of 25, my skin, the steroids stopped working. The way steroids work is you put them on and then all the redness goes away, the inflammation, but when you stop using them, it comes back with like a force. It was like red raw. In February, I'll be three years in. So that's three years, no medication. This is just general moisturizer with also hyaluronic acid in it. And usually I won't kind of like properly rub it in. I'll kind of like leave it to just sink in. And then I'll usually go over with the probiotic mist. My skincare routine is changing to whatever my skin's like at the time. So if I have like oozy wet skin that's really red, I will salt bath and then limit the amount of products. I have bad days and I'm like, I can feel people looking at me. I feel people's eyes on me. I had a man in a pub one time tell me I'd be pretty if I wasn't so red. The other day on a train, a woman asked me if I had been beaten up by someone because of the marks on my face. Like, I'm kind of just used to it. I used to really love makeup. But then after a while, like my skin couldn't tolerate a lot of stuff. I really didn't leave the house that much. I was very conscious of how I looked, how red I was. I was missing out on like so much life that I would just sit in all day and I was really depressed. And I found that the more I started sharing, like the more people were nicer online. And it was like, I found like a group of support. This video is majority gonna be about eczema and my past. I started posting online because I was at university up in Scotland and really I just wanted to beat people to the punch. I remember thinking for my own sanity, I'm gonna like share it now. So when people see me, they're not like, what's wrong with her? Since I started sharing my journey, I have got amazing messages constantly. Thank you so much for sharing your journey. It helps me so much. I wasn't gonna have a wedding or a ceremony because I felt like I didn't deserve it. But then I found your page and it's because of you that I had the confidence to follow through with my wedding day. And then she sent pictures of her wedding. I'm just like, amazed that I can make this much of a difference to someone. My confidence has definitely improved. I think it's also having support of a good partner and having like the support around you. So we met on Tinder about... Almost a year ago. Almost a year. <laughs> I think a lot of my pictures were old pictures. No. They weren't like necessarily old, but they were like good skin day. Good skin day, maybe flash had makeup on, obviously. Like it wasn't something I was hiding. But then when you think about it like that, it does kind of sound like I was being slightly dishonest. You'd had a pretty uh, bad experience with people being less than kind on dating apps when they learned of your skin condition. So I can understand you doing that. My dating experience since I got sick have been pretty bad. I went on probably about four or five dates before I met Alexander and they were all pretty terrible. I was like speaking to someone on Tinder and they kept going, what's your Instagram, what's your Instagram? And I'm thinking, oh no, like, <laughs> I just remember being like, oh, you know, like I'm going through something at the moment, so Maybe I'll show you when we meet. And he was like, don't be silly, like show me. 
So I think I sent him my Instagram, and I think about 30 seconds later I was unmatched. So I just started, stopped doing things for other people and realised that if I want to date, they have to be the right person and it has to kind of work. After our first date, you had a flare up and you were trying to not meet up with me. You were trying to kind of give me an out. And I said to you, like, I made it very clear that I wanted to see you again. My relationship with Alexander has massively improved my life. I don't think I realised, like, how nice and considerate people were because I'd done this on my own for so long. Waking up at like 6am because I can't sleep, I would get up, already be a bath run and a cup of tea by the bath. If I needed something, he'll go out any hour of the day to get it. When we first met, you were running baths, making teas. Yeah. Going to the shop five times a day for baths <laughs> or some things for me. Yeah. Why uh, did you decide to be so nice? <laughs> when you're truly in love with someone, you're willing to do whatever it takes to help them and to make their life as good as it can be. So that's why very immediately I just wanted to Aww. support you. I give the man credit. The man does everything. <laughs> you know, like he's a uh, definite, it's, yeah, it's changed my life, made my life so much easier and almost normal which it definitely wasn't before. I see how hard life gets for you. Uh, nobody else does. As much as you are able to share as much as you can on Instagram, I don't think you can really distill what you go through. So I am very, very proud of the fact that in spite of all of the struggle and pain that you're in daily, that you do still manage to put yourself out there and put other people before yourself which is pretty remarkable when your immediate needs are so severe. You are really great. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know you're really great. I love you. Having a skin condition has taught me that my skin is the least interesting thing about me. I won't let my skin stop me from living my best life. If you are struggling with your skin, I would say tomorrow is a new day and don't worry about anyone else. Body positivity or body acceptance for me is just being happy and content with yourself and loving yourself and not worrying about what other people think. If you're happy with yourself, there shouldn't be no problems.